Hey guys, as part of CS50's game development program, I made a game called Flappy Bird and I had to add a bunch of features to it as a part of my assignment. The language I've used is called Lua, the engine I've used is Love2D, and the text editor that I've used is uh, Sublime Text. So the features that I've added are as follows. I had to randomize the gap between the two pipes. I had to randomize the distance between two pipe pairs. Uh, and uh, I had to award the player a medal based on what score they have achieved. For example, if the score is greater than 20, uh, give them the gold medal. And finally, I had to implement a pause feature which can be triggered by pressing the key P. So let us have a look at the gameplay first. Uh, this is the title screen right here. And if I press enter, we, I go through a countdown and finally I'm in the game. You can either press space or the left mouse button to jump and as you can see here the pipe gaps and the uh, spawn distance have been randomized. I have laid out this image here for you so that it is easier to see. Uh, the random uh, distance between the pipe pairs has been achieved by this code. It's quite simple. It says that if the amount of time is passed is greater than the randomly generated value, it just simply spawn in a pipe. And for the random uh, pipe gap, it's also quite simple. I've added a random value to the lower pipe uh, coordinates of the lower pipe so that it spawns at a different height than usual. Now, if we talk about the pause feature, it is also uh, quite simple. While we're in the game and if we press the key P, the game pauses and the word pause is displayed on the screen. So for that, we need to have a look at the play state. Uh, a play state is the state where most of the action happens and as for the pause feature I've made a new variable called substate which is initially set to playing because we don't want the game to be paused right away as soon as we enter after the countdown so that uh, if substate is playing as you will see eventually yeah so if the substrate is playing uh, update all the necessary things that is spawn in the pipes update the coordinate of the birds and everything and uh, finally uh, yeah, if you press the key p uh, change the substrate to post uh, see as you can see here as you if you press the key p change the substrate to post play the pause sound effect and pause the background music and uh, if we talk about the post substrate, nothing much happens in it. Just the scrolling of the background image stops and the word post is displayed on the screen nice and big. So that's the post substrate. And if uh, the key P is pressed again, the substrate is changed back to playing. The pause sound effect is played and the music starts off where it stopped. That was the pause, uh, pause, pause feature and if we talk about the medal now, I've used a different approach. I've used only one image in this which is this white one, white one. but I've drawn it in different colors based on the score. This is bronze, this is silver and this is gold right here. The way I've done that is also quite simple. It checks if the score is greater than 0 and less than 10, draw it in bronze. If the score is greater than 10 but less than 20, draw it in silver. And if the score is greater than 20, draw it in gold. And after that, uh, I also had to reset the colors so that all the other images don't get drawn in the color of the middle. So that is one more thing which I've done here. So those were the features uh, that I that were a part of my assignment but I have also added two new features on, of my own which are the control state and the developer state. The control state is quite simple. If you are on the title screen and if you press the key C, it just displays the controls of the game as you can see right here. And if we talk about the developer state, it is quite, it is very useful. It can be accessed by pressing the key D on the title screen. It allows us to control the collision detection of the game. It is quite useful for checking if the pipes are spawning in correctly and uh, uh, the bunch of other things. And if we press the key C, we can turn on or off the collision detection and if the collision detection is on and if we collide, the game simply stops. So it's quite useful. And one more thing, if we are in the developer state and if we press the key S, we jump directly to the, uh, I mean, sorry, 
the score state so that we can check if the medals and everything is correct so that was the technical stuff about the game now here are some facts the game was developed by the Vietnamese developer Tong and Guyen in the year 2013. It was originally released for Android and iOS. At the time of its peak popularity, the game earned around $50,000 a day. But it, was, it garnered a lot of criticism due to its similarity in graphics to that of the Nintendo games and uh, its addictive nature. So that in 2014, the game had to be taken down. Here are some tweets made by Tong before uh, taking the game down in 2014. Pause the video if you want to read him. And uh, my version of Flappy Bird is made up of... Uh, uh, my version of Flappy Bird is made up of 28,579 characters, 3,152 words, 1,091 lines, which takes up around 2.8 MB of space, including the sound files and the pictures. Thank you so much for staying out till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed.